Hey gang, it's Mechanical Dan. Everyone has a video game they keep coming back to, whether it's for its story or for its gameplay. For me, that game is Dishonored 2. I've played many hours in the game, and on all my playthroughs I either play on medium mode or hard mode, and I wanted to challenge myself and try out very hard mode for the first time. On very hard mode, enemies are a lot stronger, they deal a lot more damage with their attacks, they're smarter and more relentless. If even part of you is visible, they will spot you and they won't give up their surf so easily, calling for backup from their friends. Enemies aren't the only thing we'll need to worry about. The elements will be working against us. Shadows won't conceal our forms and we're more vulnerable to die due to falling and drowning. Using resources will be another issue. Elixirs will replenish our health and our mana a lot less compared to other modes. We will also be playing low chaos, so avoiding violence will be can because we are a good, law-abiding citizen. Or black. By the way, there will be spoilers ahead for this game, so be warned. With that out of the way, let's get into the game. Play as Emily or play as Corvo? Let's play as Emily. I will cast you in cold marble. Well, there goes our dad. No! Sweet girl, over time you will come to love me. And I'll bring her to cold prison until her trial. What? What happened? Alexei. The throne room. Father. Finally starting out, we should need to get out of this room. Get that skyline. I need to remember that the guards are a lot more aware of their surroundings. These bastards are working with Ramsey in the d Oh, this is this part is my favorite. I just need to drop assassinate this guy. Nope, 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 no, no, no. We're starting over, we're starting over. That was an absolute embarrassment. Hello, darkness. <laughs> Alright, whatever, let's just leave it at that. We got our ring back, so we can unlock the door. Come on, Ramsey. You get to sit on the couch. Now you've got what you wanted. What do we need? Bullets, you newspaper, gun, spyglass, money. Definitely money. We'll need all the money we can get if we're going to survive this playthrough. Money, 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 money. What do I have to do to help my father? Oh, now I performed the drop assassination correctly, not when I wanted to earlier. This is the most difficult section to sneak across. These two guards have a pretty open view of the street. Even on medium difficulty, it's easy for them to spot you. Please just look the other way and think it was a large Anyone rat here? you saw. Show yourself. If I move this way, then this guy sees me, but if I move this way, then he sees me. Oh, criminy. Oh, criminy. Let's book it out of here. Move, guys. Are they still after me? Yes, they are. Emily, make it onto the lamppost, please. God damn it. Get up, 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 get up. That was a dumb jump. That was a really dumb jump. Former Empress, I mean. Emily, climb. Remember what your dad taught you and get up on the- Let's finish her! May he rest in peace. This is our harbinger for how the rest of the game is going to go. Okay, just move slowly and keep creeping forward. They can't see me if I'm behind this. Oh, come on! I did everything right! Emily, Emily, please make the lamppost this time. Yes, no! Screw it, screw it, screw it. We just gotta keep going. Megan, get me out of here. These people are mean to me. Lady, my name's Megan Foster. I work with an old ally of yours. Yes, I'm ready. Get me out of here. Yes, 
I'm ready. Okay, we didn't kill anyone, which is good, but we were spotted a couple times. Overall, I think we're doing pretty okay. What is this place? Where am I? Empress Emily Caldwin. I am a friend of your father's from the bad old days. It's the moment that changed him. Now it's your turn. We're going to accept the gift because as much as a no powers run would be a challenge, having powers is just way more fun. It burns from the inside. I feel the stories, they're true. I promise I'm good at this game. Well, and it was all a dream. Just kidding, let's go see Megan. Ready for me to drop you at the docks? Let's go see the streets where my father grew up. It won't do to be recognized. Let's try out very hard mode with our new powers. First mission on the Isle of Circanos. Look at that beautiful backdrop, by the way. Just look at it. Okay, real quick, I'm gonna buy a couple powers. To keep this as a challenge, I'm not gonna touch any of Corbro's powers and only use Emily's. We will give ourselves the ability to double jump or faster. Welcome to Karnaka, stranger. Let's head out to the black market and grab some gear. Come in. If you found No! Look how little money we have. Whatever, let's buy what we can and come back later. I shouldn't deal with strangers. Everyone is looking for me. That silver the other night I had to. Oh no, no. No, you didn't see me. Someone there? Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. No, oh. Oh, oh shoot, oh, shoot. Dude, move, please, move. Over here! That's going on. Your life has ended. All right, let's start from an earlier save point. And try this again. I suppose you're correct. This is might accomplish. So heathen, grown bold by these times. I shall not abide the footfall of a blasphemous wanderer. Okay, I forgot that in very hard mode, Emily has the ankle strength of a newborn horse. Let's try this again carefully. Sure, this is what I wanted. More Grand Guard soldiers. Best to avoid. Worst assignment Who's ever. there? Nothing ever happens. As you were. How did you spot me? I'm like 300 yards away. Show yourself. It's fine, Emily. Let's just jump into the car. We don't need these losers. Here we are, the Adamire Institute. Here we go, first fight. I'm gonna use a stun mine. You won't get away. I'll be fooled. Okay, well, I don't want to waste a perfectly good stun mine, so I'm going to try to lure some of these guards down here so that they'll both get stunned by it. What was that? I need to take out this third guy. I'll try Shadow for him. Maybe being the height of Stuart Little isn't the best for a one-on-one -on -one fight. Let's try this again. Come on. Come get it. You're almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Come on. Let's try Doppelganger. You're so 
No, no, go away. Got him. Emily. Emily. Why would you do that? That was a human life you just took? She doesn't care. Is Hamilton and me? Nonsense for our Why? No, no, back off, dude. What the heck, man? You two were talking like you were the best of co-workers, and you pulled that? You want Oh, sick darts. Nope, never mind. Jeez, dude, calm down. What was what was that? Was that a pot? Where were you standing at? I had a kitchen pot. Let's go talk to Hypatia. I love her design, by the way. Just her whole getup is beautiful. But we do find out that she's been suffering from a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde situation because someone's been poisoning her. And we need to make the antidote and give it to her. By the way, if you don't say Pypatia on every single playthrough of Dishonored 2, we can't be friends. This tower is down. Megan can pick me up. Okay, don't fall backward. Please don't fall backward. No, 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 no. Okay, you know what? I've had enough of this. Mom, come pick me up from soccer practice. Can we leave this place yet? I don't like it. Yeah, this place sucks. Let's dip. Yes. Let's get back to the ship. Despite the mishaps, I would give us a strong B- minus on that mission. Oh. And as a reward, Dr. Ipatia has joined our crew. Let's hope your friend doesn't sink the boat while we're gone. She's got a PhD. I think she's smart enough not to sink the boat. Ready. All right. Let's get underway. On to the next mission. The Clockwork Mansion. Good. Get past the Wall of Light, then ride the carriage to where Jindosh lives. And there's a reason people are afraid of his mansion. I'll get it done. Emily, take care of this crazy man and his clockwork soldiers, then bring Sokolov back. He means a lot to me. Aw, of course, Megan. Oh, I just remembered we have bone charms. Let's put one of these on. Hardiness, maximum health is increased. I don't think putting this on will subtract from the very hard challenge. It's like my doctor always says, if you have bones that'll make you stronger, wear them. At last. No, I'm just a little shadow monster, please don't look at me. I need the best juice you have. Maybe some painkillers. Greetings. I just got shot I... multiple times. I don't know you. Rude. I can help you out, but not right now. I'm supposed to get a visit from Paolo, someone you don't want to meet. Come oh yeah, Paolo. Here we get to meet Pedro go. Pascal's character, Paolo. Who do we have here? I'm Paolo. In this part of town, everything's my business. To catch a grandma, you have to think like a grandma. Maybe you need another lesson. Is that... What you came down here for? All right, Paolo, I'll move out of your way. Better take off. Paolo's in a bad mood. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Actually, they seem kind of calm. Oh no, no. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gone. I'm gone. Come on, come on. Okay, ow. Think you look tough? Come on. I'm trying. Alright, now I'm officially mad. No hold bars. Emily number two, attack on my signal. I got the slate, you got together too. Emily number two just took out two enemies like it was nothing. I think she should be the protagonist of this story. Finally, we can shop in peace. I can't believe you're alive after crossing Paolo. My train was better. Much better. Aw, she's talking about her dad. You've been asking She'll have to tell him that. You know, when he's no longer a lawn decoration. Oh, look at that. It's a floating brick over this guy's head. I guess that's Emily Number's two calling card if she ever wants to continue down this career path. What was it? Okay, link up these two. Where did they go? You go downstairs? 
No, they, no, they were right there. Let's do this again. Perfecto. Onward and upward. The Clockwork the Mansion. mansion. Has a Since this is one of the more difficult levels in the game, I'm gonna be smart and crawl through the spaces behind the walls so that no enemy finds me because I'm really, really tired of dying. The space behind the walls. I'm just gonna take this from you. Uh, robot, protect me. Fight him. Tear each other apart. Thank you, sir. Time to find Sokolov. You don't see me. You don't see me. Combat protocol six. Oh, no, 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 no. What do we have? Rewire tool juice. What was What was that? That's form and shadow form. Yes, stay over there, you stupid wooden bird. Emily Caldwin, if you're here, things have gone further than I thought. Rude. You've become a fascinating woman. <laughs> Giving a compliment took up too much energy and he passed out. It's okay, we'll get you out of here. And this time I'll bring you back up. Go, Emily number two. Destruct the enemy. Show no mercy. Emily number two, I need you to come back. Ow. How do I get how do I get out of this maze? How do I actually get out of this maze? Oh shoot. <laughs> no thank you, no thank you. I've had enough of this. Rest in pieces. Now I remember how to get out. Let's be quiet getting out of here. Oh no, he's dead! We failed the mission. Oh, oh no, 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 he's good. He's good. He's fine. Go back to Event District or stay at Clockwork Mansion. Heck no, we're getting out of here. Oh, look at him. He's doing the little thing that little kids do when they're trying to pretend they're asleep so they don't have to walk. I see you, buddy. I know you're awake. It's okay, though. I can carry you back to the car. We did it. How is he? He's frail and wounded. Unauthorized. But he'll recover. Let's go, then. Yeah, let's go. Oh, whoa. Hell yeah, let's go. Syria Gardens. What's going on here? Whoa, We're at home. Wait! <sighs> Alright, dude. That was a little dramatic. How do I usually do this? One, two, three, four. He's a street orphan, full of tricks. But I have faced your life. Did she just jump off the balcony? Yeah, she totally did. What? Go, Emily number two, weaken her. No, no. what have you done to her, you witch? You've corrupted her. How dare you, absolutely abominable person. You don't deserve your powers. Now to activate Orlis. Well, 
I do now, I'm ruined. It was everything I had. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me give you a hug. Uh, hey, hey. I'm just trying to console you. Come here. You've no idea who we are. Ow! Stop. We'll bury you beneath. Jeez, that was a lot of trouble just to console someone, and also maybe steal bone charm off of her. Ugh. Another day, another waking up on a boat in very hard mode. This day sucks in particular too because Sokolov is driving us out to the mission because Megan is too busy. Tell you more. I'll wait here in this skiff. Yeah, yeah, whatever, Sokolov. Hello, Emily. Megan, Stilton's there you are. Just Don't ever leave it, Sokolov again. Yeah, so to give an explanation for the level, we need to retrieve the password to the door of this rich guy's house. To do that, we need to take a side in a turf war between Palo's gang and a religious gang full of priests. Obviously, we want to pick Palo's side because why wouldn't we? He says he's a man of the people. He hangs out with rats. He's got live music playing 24 7. Wow, look at this. Palo has the ultimate bachelor pad. He's got a self portrait, Parasota, stationery. I'd love to stick around, but since we want to be on Palo's side, we gotta go over to the Overseer's side and capture. We gotta go with the Overseer's side and. Right, you are a grown man. You should not be doing that. So sleepy. I gotta get to bed earlier. Not too much lately. <laughs> That's like a Facebook post from 2014. So sleepy. I gotta get to bed earlier. Yeah, be of the every man. <laughs> Don't knock over the bottle. The howlers are cowards. The dude, but it's a good one. One, two, three, four, and drop down. No, no, stop. God damn it. If there's anything I'm learning from this playthrough, it's that enemies are willing to sacrifice their friends just to kill you. And that's the most evil thing about them. Wait, wait a minute. Are we back at Paolo's? <laughs> Finally. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. I don't know why I keep dropping people in this game. Do you think Pal is gonna be mad that we attacked his crew back in that alley? No, that was technically Emily number two, and Pal knows that's an entirely different person from me. All right, Paolo, here's the body you wanted. I've been trying to bring Burn down for months. You did what others couldn't. Here's what you'll need to enter the house. Thank you, Paolo. Now we have the password to get into Stilton's house. Bird, and then diamond. We're in. I'll crack in the slab. This is probably the most fun level in the whole game. Ah! Take this. Imagine it's a kind of timepiece. Yes, give me the timepiece. Now we can travel between two timelines. Little rat, come back, friend. Oh, my bad. I should have been more patient. I dreamed the Duke and I were hunting, but the deer had faces. Please keep that to yourself. We are valiant men of honor, wenching, brawling sons of men. Prancing, leaping, laughing, over hill and da da da. Stop scratching your head, let us cure it instead. Our show, on our show. Something, something, toss salad and scrambled eggs. I need to remember, there is a dog up ahead. And... stun mine. No! Come on, that was like two bites. Game over, game over. That is the best death screen thus far. 
Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Good boy. You can't see me because I live in a different timeline. Also, I know this guy is rich, but who leaves money out on their patio during a party? I wonder who that was. Emily, what was that? I could have jumped from that high with my angles intact, and I have actual bird bones. Long story short, we knock out the owner of the house, which prevents him from witnessing a seance that would have drove him insane, which restores the mansion to its original state. Through a rift in time, we're able to observe the seance and figure out how to defeat the main antagonist, Delilah. This is more exciting than any orgy I've ever attended. Oh, also, uh, Megan has both her eyes and arms. Because timeline stuff. Sorry, I, uh, I, I need a break if I'm gonna finish this game. Oh, well. He's so talented. No one told me the cool kid's table got moved up here. What are you guys planning? I hope I've been of some help to you. It's good to feel useful here near the end of my time. Should we head toward the palace? Ready. Heck yeah, let's get this done. Here we are, the penultimate level of the game. And I gotta say, the architecture of the Duke's palace is mwah, chef's kiss. Probably my favorite building to jump on top of. Let's get this dude off the ground, because I don't trust you guys. Something moved. Don't mind me, I'm just a little shadow monster looking for some more d'oeuvres. Did you see the game last night? They really fumbled the bag. You're right, SNL hasn't been good since Eddie Murphy left. Okay, bye. Alright, there should be a room down here. Where is it? It's usually in this spot. Ooh! Uh, Emily, zoom up, 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 up. I'm losing track of the plot. Where is the Duke and the body double supposed to be? Okay, one will be lurking in the office, and the other one is in the royal chambers. Megan has a friend who works in the Grand Palace. The Duke's double is a smoker. Alright, Mr. Duke of Bell, pull out a cigar and prove to me that you're the good Duke. Come on. It's just a single marble light. I'll even take a vape pen. Anything. No? No. His lungs are clear, but his conscience isn't. The Duke's Chambers is the only other place where the Dukes can be. Of course it's them. Okay, here we go. Here's the good Duke. Now we just have to switch him with the real Duke. Oh my god. The true very hard mode of this game is reconciling whatever that is. Luca, artist self-portrait. Artist is a very generous title. Duke Luca Bell, I've come to arrest you for the crimes of painting bad art. Boink, that's for the evidence bin. Alright dude. Now you two can switch places. Also, holy mackerel, look at the size of that bed. That must be like three Wisconsin kings glued together. It could fit four families on there with room for three dogs. Five cats. Take him away! No, no, I'm just a little shadow monster. You can't hurt me. Of course it can. No, it can't. That was a fun party and all, but I don't want to stay past my welcome. Also, curfew rules and all that. So, is that it? The fall of Karnaka? From now on, the Duke will be guided by better stars. Back to the dreadful whale, then. And on toward Dunwall. Yes, back to Dunwall, the city loved by steam and hated by the sun. The city where this entire adventure began. Let's make one last visit to the black market before I disembark in the final chapter of the story. Oof, that train is definitely not going to be running for a bit. The station will be like, Sorry folks, there's currently a 45 minute delay. Good luck getting to work on time, idiot. Are those aristocrats just standing amongst the debris and stray dogs? Oh, never mind. That makes more sense. But his eyes. I see them in my mind. The muscles in his back. And I have him between my legs. Wait, where'd she go? Where is she? 
Did she just teleport to the wrong place and fall to her death? I need to check. Do I have the relocation sickness charm? No, I do not. She was just a massive klutz. Ah, I need to stop collecting coins. There's no reason to have money after this point. There are no more shops, there are no more stores. The economy's in shambles. Hey, I recognize this place. I'm just taking out these Gravehound skulls because they're super annoying when they spawn. There's no way y'all saw me from up here. Guys, this is a 3-on-1 fight. This isn't fair. And the way I died was by jumping off a cliff. That's really fitting. Alright, fine. I'm going on a different route. Yeah. Oh, I just remembered. We have the relocation sickness bone charm. We can duplicate its power by four and now, which is have a much, much higher chance of tripping over while of teleporting. Well, the bone chart definitely works. I didn't break it, you little liar. No one remember except me, Jessamine. I will always remember. I see what I'm going up against. We do need to go to the chapel first and craft a corrupt rune if we want to avoid killing the light land take her out in a lethal manner. Why is there a tree in the middle of the chapel? I know there's a punchline to this. Oh, I got it. To leave room for the Holy Spirit. Arts and crafts. 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 This will be my back back off, dog. Oh, no, you didn't see anything. Mother's old secret chamber is connected to my safe room. Officer, she slipped on a ban appeal, I swear. We'll just fit the corrupted rune right here. Good, now the spell's corrupted. We're almost done with the game, we're so close. This is the world she dreamed of. I know that the real Delilah is up there, and that over there is a decoy. However, I do want to try fighting the final boss in very hard mode. Shadow form is the superior form. Run away, run away! Come here. Ow. Wait, what? Did I hit invisible wall? On their Our current strategy is striking and then teleporting away. Just hit and run. Just hit and run. How? How come she gets a cool power like that? I want to scream at people. I'll warn you, this is against my credo. There she is. Here we go, the final, final boss of the game. There you are. Get down. What is happening? The rats of Dunwall will feed on your guts tonight. Go, Emily number two. You're the true hero of this story. I believe in you. Come on. She's on low health. Go. Make the final strike. Emily number two, you did it. You defeated the final boss. Everyone's clapping for you. Now that we've proven we can fight in hand-to-hand -hand combat on very hard mode, I'm going to show you all how to take out Delilah in a non-lethal fashion. You just clamp the slope hidden off to the side here. Knock out the real Delilah. If I put Delilah on the throne, and carry her back down. Her. You know what? That seems like a fitting end to the game. We save our dad, bring back prosperity and justice to the Empire, 
restore honor to our family name, and leave on an open ending for the Dishonored 2 DLC. All jokes aside, Dishonored 2 is one of my favorite games, and part of my favorite video game franchise of all time. I highly recommend playing it. The designs of the characters in the world are stunning. The architecture of each level is enough to make Frank Lloyd Wright cry. And if you're a player like me who likes to read every tidbit of info you come across, you'll discover that there's so much connected lore that hides beneath the surface of the overarching world. Not to mention that the gameplay is extremely fun. I prefer to play stealthy and avoid enemies, but you don't have to do this. You can use a whole arsenal of powers and weapons to go out guns blazing. If you're looking to play a game that's a challenge, pick up Dishonored 2. You won't be disappointed. That's going to be it for this video. I hope your games are challenging and the rest of your day is easy. Bye. Sing. 